When it comes to removing a background in Canva, it is really easy. You don't have to overthink it. And there are two ways to do it. On the free version and on the pro version, or both. And I'm going to show you an extra trick that I have up my sleeve. I have a couple of designs here that I've been working on for the t-shirt business that I started with my husband. So let's start designing. You can see I've got a couple here and I want to keep making more. But I need the background removed. Here on the side, I've got my uploads. If you're new to Canva and this is the first time that you worked on here, I do have a video that you can watch about how to get started on Canva. I'm going to assume at this point that you are familiar with Canva. I want to add another picture like this. I really like this design with the square and the circle, so I want to keep it. And instead of copying over everything, I'm just going to duplicate the page. So literally this little plus here. Okay, I don't need the same dude. So I'm going to delete him and I'm going to delete my design. Everything else I want to keep. This is a background not that one, this is a background that I created on AI. Um, so I want to keep that, it's a really nice one. But now I've got a picture of a model that I need to put in here, but it's got a background. There, I've got a really cool dude. So you can see he would fit perfectly on there, except how do I get the white away? So if you on Canva free, you can't remove the background in Canva because if you click on the picture and I say edit photo, this is a background remover. It's not available if you're on the free version of Canva but do not despair, there is hope. And that hope is called remove.background forward slash upload. And what you do here is you drop the image in here. So I'm going to upload the image. Here is my image. I'm going to upload, it's gonna do its magic and the next moment it's going to remove the background. I say download. When I go back to my design, so I go upload file, and then you just go and look Wherever you can see background, there is a background, there's no background. So you can see in the description, remove BG preview. So let's compare though, because I have Canva Pro. And I'm going to tell Canva to remove the background for me. And I upload the one that I just did on the remove background. I don't really see a difference, do you? In actual fact, I found most of the time the remove background does a much better job at removing the background than Canva itself. So if we have to go and zoom in on Canva, you can see his hair's cut out, the arms, this one. This one is almost better around the arms. This one seems like very obvious as a cutout where this one doesn't. If you get to more complex images, so let's for instance say this one was also quite tricky. So you can see there's a lot of gaps that it might need to fill in. So let's let's tell this one to remove. And I'm also going to upload a new image and ask it to remove and compare this these two. So this one, okay, I'm going to make this all white so that I can actually see what has happened. Okay, so now you can see this is what it looks like when you remove the background. If I use the uploaded one from background remover, Can you see now between the images, this one does, most of the time it does a better job. But this one I can't edit in Canva. I have to go back here and I can edit. Because here I can say, okay, I want to erase or, or restore. This is my brush size. So I want to do that. So you kind of highlight it, it thinks a little bit and then it restores that, oh, but that is the eraser actually. I want to restore. So let's just bring that back, please. Quick, 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 quick. Let's see what it does. That's actually a pretty decent pick. If I just do the bottom of the tire, that's actually a stunning design. I'm actually going to download this. So now let's upload the new one. I'm gonna make another page. And I'm gonna say that one. But this one is still not good, but you can still edit it in Canva. So you go back. Now you've clicked on before, you go back to it and you select your brush size and you can restore. And then you can go over and wherever you this the difference is you can see here what you are doing versus the background remover you have to kind of go over and then you only see the changes afterwards the reason why i like the other one better is because you can see here this guy was originally on a darker background so wherever i go with the mouse it just automatically puts back whatever was there so now i've got this dark background here and i actually want to take it away but now it becomes tricky because now if I do that, now I'm starting to lose a little bit of the niceness about the picture. Unless I go really, really small, I'm struggling to get it all nice. Whereas the remove background app or software 
is a little bit more intuitive because if you look here it kind of kept all the little small things even though I went over the brush it realized that you know it needs to separate the image from the background so whichever one you can both, you can try both but at least you have an option if you're on Canva Pro you can use the Canva features but you have a backup if you are on the free Canva version at least you can remove the background I hope it helps let me know in the comments if you found this useful or if you have any other tips or websites that you often go to that you want to share with the community here thanks for watching I'll see you next time